I'd like to take a few minutes and talk to you about the hardware that we're going to be using for demonstration purposes today, okay? Now, some of your hardware may be different, but uh, feel free just to kind of look and see what we have and compare with what you have, and I'll give you a little bit more of an explanation, okay? First, we're going to have a touch screen. Now, this is a 19-inch touch screen, and it's not a requirement to use the software to have a touch screen because there are other function keys that we're going to look at and, and other things that are going to be a huge benefit to have a touch screen, but it's not a requirement. So you may have a regular monitor. Also, we have the cash drawer right here. This is a 19 by 15 steel gauge commercial cash drawer, and it's actually going to have an output to the printer or an input to the printer. And it's going to look, the, the connection is going to look kind of like a Cat5 or an Ethernet cable that's going to come from the bottom of the cash drawer. And then what you're going to have is a connection to the receipt printer. So the receipt printer is going to have an RJ11 cable, and it looks kind of like a phone line. And you're going to pop that in right here. And this is a thermal receipt printer, okay? Now, you want to be careful to keep it away from heat because it will turn completely black because it is a, it, it is a thermal printer. Now, it is going to have auto cut as well. So you'll, you'll see that some people have just a tear bar, but this has an auto cut of the receipt. Now, this is a barcode printer. Now, this is going to be a, a major part of of uh, really maintaining your inventory in, in a real appropriate way is printing barcodes. So you'll see in just a few minutes, we're going to have a discussion in other operations about barcode printing and the Barcode Express module, okay? Now, another huge aspect is this barcode scanner, okay? Now, right here, we're using the DataLogic Quick Scan. It, this, this, this particular scanner we standardize on because if there's a broken barcode or it's, uh, it's not a, a very clear print or anything like that, it, this thing really picks those things up. Now, this is a very inexpensive one, but it is probably the best use that we've seen. Now, you have other ones like omnidirectional scanners that have uh, the laser shooting in multiple ways. This is a unidirectional scanner. And then you also have scanner scale combinations and area image scanners with like easy ID for, for checking driver's licenses and things like that like that for identification purposes. Now also, you, you could have an integrated card reader on the side of your touch screen, but for today, we're just going to use this card reader down here. And we also have our keyboard and mouse. Now they are USB connections. The touch screen is going to be a VGA connection. Uh, this is going to be, it. for the barcode printer, it's going to be a USB connection. For today, we're using a parallel connection on the uh, thermal receipt printer. And uh, this, this right here, uh, the barcode scanner also has a USB connection. So you can see all the connections right here, okay? Um, right here, here's where all your USB is going to be. This is going to be the power. You're going to have your VGA cable here, your parallel cable here. Now, if you have some other printers, you are, we, we actually do have our CPUs have two COM ports or serial, um, serial ports, and they're going to be at the bottom here and right next to the VGA, okay? So if you have any other questions, you definitely can go to posnation.com. You can look under our support section. You can get any drivers that come with, uh, that it really are native to the software or usable with the software. And you can also get other uh, vital information about using the hardware. So I just wanted to give you a quick overview. And now let's jump into the software. Now what I want to do is kind of show you a brief overview of the software and how this interface is going to work, okay? Basically, what we have here is this is where the invoice is going to populate, okay? Uh, if you were to scan an item, this is going to, and you're going to see this in just a few seconds, but the item is going to appear right here. The other thing I'd like to show you is the fact that if, if you look down here, you see all of these F1, F2, all of the function keys right here where your help is very accessible. You know, if we were to press one, help is going to appear right there. The screen is going to appear very searchable, and uh, it, it's pretty um, intuitive there. The other thing I'd like to show you is that, you know, with respect to all these function keys, that's kind of uh, the, the old school way of doing things. Now, this is an actual touch screen, so we have a, a pretty great function called the TS lookup. Now, that is the touch screen lookup. Now, we're going to go over all this in a few minutes, but here's all your departments, okay? So I'm using a liquor database for this, just it has a, has a lot of items in there, and we're going to have some other miscellaneous items in there as well. But you have 18 spaces within this screen to really see um, uh, all of the specific items within the database. And you can see I can scroll back and forth, okay? So easy, it's just very easy. That touch screen lookup is basically to select an item, and you can see that it populates here on the invoice. The same exact thing happens when you scan something on your scanner, okay? And it has, that has a barcode on them. All right, let's go ahead and delete that item. And you can see that this is, this is really the, the payment uh, or, or really the control keys for uh, the tender screen and, and things like that, like this will get you to the tender screen, the settle screen. 
and uh, you can see these quick tender buttons right here. Now, it's pretty great that you can actually reduce what's on the screen with a click of a button. What I did is I went to Tools, and you see Payment Options right there, and I clicked Payment Options, and they can reappear. So you can just do quick cash, a check, credit, debit, you know, account, very easily. You can pay things on account. It's very easy to do. So I'm going to leave that on the screen. We'll access those from time to time. The other thing I like to show you is this is where the customer information is going to populate. If you'd like to find a customer, and we're going to go all through this, and right now we don't have anyone in there, but you can see here that all you have to do is type the customer number, the last name, the company, or the phone number. So you can actually assign a card to them and swipe it here. However you want to do to actually look up a customer, those are the multiple ways that you can do it. Now, when you do look up a customer, all of their information is going to populate right here, okay? Um, and, and one other thing I'd like to point out is the quick find. This is actually where you're going to, to actually be able to swipe a card, scan a barcode, anything like that. So uh, I just wanted to give you that indication as well. And you have your QWERTY keyboard right here to be able to type anything in that you need to type in. But again, all the customer information is going to be gathered right there that's going to be attached to an invoice. The other thing I'd like to show you is here's where you're going to do a specific line delete. This is where you're going to void an entire invoice, okay? So if you populate mul multiple items right there, and we can do that really quickly. Let's just put a few items in there. We're done. So we've got three here. Let's go ahead and void that entire invoice, and it's going to avoid the whole, uh, avoid the whole um, entire check. Now, if we just want to void a specific line, we're going to ring in a few items. We're going to choose a line, and we're going to delete it. Now, if we want to void the entire invoice, press of a button, and we're good to go. The other thing I'd like to show you is that if you look closely, you can see on this quantity change, price change, find. If you're really looking on your screen, you can see that there's an underscore on specific letters. <clears throat> now, those specific letters have a very key function. And I'll show you real quick how that's going to be done. So we're going to let's go ahead and ring in an item and then actually quant change the quantity, okay? So let's ring in this item. And what we're going to do is we're going to click done. And so instead of pushing this button, you have the ability to say Alt G, and you'll see you can change that quantity. That function is going to appear. Okay. Now what I'd like you to, to see is the fact that within this, that there's a bunch of other things. So I'm not just trying to show you just the quantity change because you can press the same thing here. Um, but I just wanted you to see that anytime you want to call a function, you have basically three ways to navigate this screen. Touch screen, and if you don't have a touch screen like we were discussing, you can actually have your monitor and you can use the function keys. All of the function keys up top will, function, uh, will actually operate these buttons here. And then Alt and any of the, the actual um, letter that's underscored is going to give you the, the navigation tool as well. So then mouse and keyboard can do it. So you can see it's a highly functional screen. The other thing I'd like to show you is that um, you know we can go to the back office here, and you can see here's the cashier functions, uh, invoice properties, and these are some 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 big high level things that we're talking about. And then we have uh, tools, and you can see here you've got wage calculator, you've got a labor schedule, and all those things. We're going to get into all of those. This is your setup uh, tab. <clears throat> And you can see that there's a lot of things here. Now, this is a big guy here, this set, uh, setup screen. And you can see that pretty much in all of these specific things, I'm just going to click through a few of them, you can see that there are just a, a, a myriad uh, of things right here that are, are setting up each function to perform in a specific way. So you have a lot of options within there. The other thing I'd like to show you is uh, this, this is going to be your big button for managers. You're going to have your uh, inventory, your department maintenance, um, a, a lot of those different um, things for just administratively accounting and, and manipulating your inventory and your customers and your employees. You're going to see that all those things are right there. and We're going to dive into those in a, just a few minutes, but I wanted to show you that. So you can see that this is a very trainable, a very teachable screen. Um, and, and really, any time that somebody needs to access anything, if they need to search for uh, a specific item in inventory, you just push that button. You can scan the barcode there, and it'll find that item. Or you can actually just do a manual search by category, department, vendor, or the mix of all of those. Okay. So I just wanted to show you all of those. This is where your totals are going to populate. And I just want to do uh, one quick thing just to show you uh, how to actually take a payment, okay? So we have this screen right here. Let's go to the tender screen, and I just wanted you to see that you can see the total here is populated. If it's going to be exact change, we're just going to press cash. But if it's going to be something else, we go ahead and type that in. Let's say it's $40. That's what they're going to take. And you have these, these keys right here, which are, are logical denominations as well. And this right here is a dynamic one that is the next logical denomination or the next logical uh, amount. So we can actually press that.
and we're gonna, they're going to pay with cash, and the drawer's going to pop. We have the opportunity to save some paper here, and we're not going to print a receipt. But you can see the change due is going to appear here, and then we can actually move on to, to do another invoice. So it's very easy to take payments. It's very easy to configure this screen, and now let's move on to some other functions.